Now over to CBS 2, Sabrina Franza. Sabrina, I understand you just spoke with women who say that their lives were forever changed because of their access to abortion. Hi, Jim, Marie. Yeah, these women, they're disappointed. They're angry. One woman will, who you'll hear from in just a few seconds said that her life was forever changed when she got an abortion. She had to travel to California in 1970, lie about her mental health to get that procedure. She said she hoped that no other women would be in that same spot until today when that became a reality. She shared some of her thoughts as she's thinking about those women. I'm sure that they're extremely scared. I mean, that's the thing is that this whole attempt to make abortion illegal is really to suppress women, to basically put clamps on any kind of, of rights that women have gained in this last period. Today, Planned Parenthood out of Illinois told us that they anticipate 20 to 30,000 extra women will be in the same boat, but coming to our state from other neighboring states for abortion care this year. For perspective, in 2020, experts say 10,000 women cross borders to Illinois to have an abortion. Now it's a matter of figuring out how that's all going to work for women who need it and for those who cannot afford to travel. Black and brown communities, people living in rural areas, people with low incomes, people with disabilities, all the folks who already face the most barriers to accessing health care, including abortion, will be most impacted by today's decision. Mary Lori Lightfoot said she would look into more funding for health care providers like Planned Parenthood of Illinois and would look to have that included somehow in next year's 2023 budget. And coming up at six, you'll hear from even more women who say 2023 might be too late. We're outside Federal Plaza. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you. Here's a look at some of the states where lawmakers have been very vocal about abortion rights. In Illinois, abortions are legal. Lawmakers here say they are preparing to take in an influx of out-of-state patients from neighboring states. You heard Sabrina talk about that. States like Missouri, Iowa, along with other Midwestern states.